All right, so another thing we're gonna learn now is broadcasting, which is basically how we can switch between levels. So broadcasts, like collisions, are how objects interact with each other. So each object can send out a broadcast, and each object can receive the broadcast. They're important for creating rapid response and change, like switching levels, so that's what we're gonna do. First, we need to make a goal so that when the player gets to the goal, it switches the level. So we're gonna add a new sprite, and um, this could be whatever you want, but let's see. I'm going to add. How about a smaller fish? Perfect. So this fish obviously isn't smaller, but we can resize it right here. All right, now it's a smaller fish, and maybe maybe this is the magical fish that teleports him to the other level. Whatever you want. This you know this is your game. You can choose whatever storyline you want. This is going to be the goal, so just to recap, this fish has to get to this other fish in order to get to the next level. So, to make this a goal, the first thing we want to do is create a global variable, which instead of, you know, how we've always been making it for the sprite only, we're going to create it for all sprites. So we're going to create a global variable called level, and we'll initialize it to 1. Uncheck this. We just initialize it to 1, so set it to one. Well, this is keeps track of the level number. So now you want to add an initialization for your goal. So it changes based on what level you get to. So first you want to do when flag is clicked, you want a forever loop. So it's constantly checking if these are true. So first you want to have an if statement that says if you want to say if level equals one. So if if you're at level 1, so just say if level equals 1, so this is basically saying if you're at level 1, which is the first level, and you want to set the position, so you're going to go to motion, and set the position, you want to say go to these xy coordinates, and this, these current xy coordinates that are in here are what it is at right now, so I don't even have to change anything, it's already where I want it to be. So this will just happen when it's level 1. And then we can do the same thing for level two. So right now we only have one backdrop, which means we only have one level. So we want to have multiple levels in this game. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate, and um, we're going to make this level a bit different. We're going to maybe move around some, um, move around these blocks like this. Oh, it's like zigzaggy, and um, maybe add some more right here. All right. Oops. All right. So now it's a different level, and then let's make another one. Your levels don't have to look like this. This is just my version, but you can make the level as, as hard or as easy as you want. Just be a straight line, <laughs> just the ground. So, right. so. And you can make sure how like slant the rectangle. Oh, yeah. Um, do that actually. Oh wait, yeah, right here. Um, also, you could slant the rectangles like going like this. Sort of makes it a bit more difficult. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you could experiment with with this. And yeah, create cool and interesting levels. Um, all right, now we can go back. All right, so that's, you could add as many um, levels as you want. Um, so now we're gonna go back to the goal script. And um, so for each level, we want them to be at different places. So, you might want to select the next backdrop and place him where you want him to be for that. And then tell him to go to that position for level two. And then you can duplicate that, put it right there for level three. Go to stage, go to the next backdrop, and then 
Tell your little guy where you want him to be for... Tell him where you want him to be for that level. So now you have him initialized for all three levels. Alright. So now we're going to add some script to this stage. So just click the stage, click on scripts, and um, we're going to create a new variable called max max level which is it's just supposed to be however many levels that you made for this game so you want to initialize it to the number of levels that you made so I made three backdrops so I'm going to put three for the initialization I also want to initialize the level variable to one so it starts at level one and then we're going to do some broadcasting so how broadcasting works is you could just, you know, click and drag. Basically, this sends a message to every object that you have here, and they can receive it in their uh, in their command. So you could say, "When I receive this message," and that'll do something. So we're going to broadcast a message, and we're going to actually call it new message. We're going to call it new level. All right, and now we are, oh now we're gonna initialize it right here in front, and we're gonna go to looks and switch the backdrop to to backdrop two, which is our first level. So now when you run it, it'll start off at level one. Alright, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for next time we're going to learn about... So we're going to continue learning about how to change levels. We're going to learn about hazards. And then we're going to learn how to make a window screen when the game is over. Stay tuned.